Hey there, everybody. Welcome back with the plat. This is the first video I'm recording after my spicy video last time. Um, and we got a follow up to that, basically, um, where we can go into the menu here. We could take a look at the news. Does this stop the music? Either way, um, first thing I want to say before we kind of jump into it is uh, I want to make sure that we clarified. No one seemed to really think this, but I, I didn't really articulate it well in the first video, this specific aspect that I wasn't, um, I didn't want to, to ever come off that I'm attacking any of the devs specifically or any individual people. Um, like I, I don't blame, you know, our wonderful community manager, say you, um, or, you know, Justin, I don't blame any of the devs specifically. I'm sure even though like we say it's the devs, not the community managers, I don't think that's even probably accurate. It's probably the suits behind the devs, right? Uh, I'm sure that the people that develop the game actually do that work aren't, you know, it's not like if we spend a uh, hundred dollars or a thousand dollars or $10 on a banner, I'm sure they're not making any different amounts of money, right? They're just doing what they're told, trying to make the best game they can. Um, so I, I think they get a lot of flack as well. So first I just want to apologize if it wasn't clear to me that I wasn't trying to be spicy towards any individuals, but I don't want that to undermine the fact as well that it was, uh, the situation that we're in with our banner is bullshit. And I want to clarify that, but I'm not as immediately reactionary, uh, reactionly angry right now, but they have, I have some good and some bad things to say about this upcoming changes to the step up crossover guidance. Um, and we'll talk about it as we get into it. Um, overall, I'm positive on it, but let's just read what they said. We have heard your feedback really quick. Also, <laughs> I, I didn't even, I didn't even mention this cause I didn't notice, or I just forgot about it. Um, they delivered us hero right shards, but they were supposed to deliver us other world, uh, hero, hero whites which is 100 shards per thing. So instead of getting 5,000, we got 50. So I, I'm hoping that was just an error. It, I'm, that That's something that I could totally understand just being two similarly named items. They just accidentally added the wrong one. I'm willing to give the benefit on the doubt of that, especially because that's a time-gated resource, not a money-gated resource, unless you count doing gems for the hunts. But that that that's not a money maker for them. I think this was likely just a mistake. Um, but this was definitely intentional. We have heard your feedback in response to the step up crossover guidance, Adele guiding light that was released on 10 five. We value your honesty and have discussed how we can address your concerns. In particular, we understand that the details of the guiding light feel unfair compared to the same ones in Japanese versions. So we will be making changes to the step up crossover guiding lights and upcoming updates. Okay. So step up Adia and step up Agnes. Now, because Adele has already been released, please understand that we are unfortunately unable to apply the same changes to it. This is both true and untrue, I feel like. I feel like they could not adjust the current banner, but release a side banner to go along with it. But I understand the issue here. Let's say, you know, whatever, a thousand people have pulled on this. Um, they've already done both steps. Now they release a better deal. And now all these people feel like they got basically ripped off because they bought this thing and then two days later they released something that's a way better deal um like i understand this just riding the storm of this one out and then going to the next two it sucks because it means we're not you know most of us aren't going to be getting adele um adele is a cool unit and i would love to have adele but i'm not going to spend on that banner um it just unrealistic the silver lining is that adele is probably the worst of these three in terms of overall usefulness and power doesn't make it a less cool unit um but probably the least powerful of the three anyway so adjustments to be made step one will be made free to perform to perform i have questions about this but we will continue first free rubies will be able to be used along with paid rubies okay so we We'll just keep going. This is this is positive. This means people that have saved for these characters can spend on these characters, which is awesome. You could have already spent on the normal banner, but this is because of what JP had. People were expecting to use this to, on their gems, um, especially because you don't need to save, you know, 3000. Then um, you could have saved like whatever point. You know, you know what I'm trying to say on step five. The featured character will have a 50 percent chance of appearing in the 10th slot instead 
of the 15% chance that we are given so gracefully. So this is very positive. There will be no limit to the number of rounds that can be performed. This is very good. Ve this is very, very interesting, which leads me to another question. And the number of bonus guide stones per step up will be increased. Okay, so three of these I have questions on. Two of them are connected. And there's one negative here. Okay. So first, we'll just go with the negative, and then we'll go with the questions. The negative is this nowhere do I see here anywhere that does this say the pity is going from 200 down to 100, which it was in JP. This sounds like we're still going to have a 200 pull pity. That is screwed. I, I hate that for multiple reasons. One, because it sucks for this banner, but all of JP have had 100 pities for their featured units, if I'm to understand right. That's what I've been told. That's what people have been saving for. That's the information we've been given out. Save because you don't need to, you only need to hit 100 pity. So always keep your 3,000 gems. And then anything above 3,000 gems is kind of like your fun money, in a sense. You know, it's your fun gems. But once you're at, so keep 3,000 so you can guarantee a limited time character that you want because a lot of them are very good. So I hope that this is just forgotten to be mentioned here. It doesn't sound like they're going to adjust it for these two, but we need to we need to get the 100 pity if that's what JP had. It's as simple as that, in my opinion. Like, even though some of these things are better than the JP banner, like, and other things are worse, like, we just at least baseline give us the the stuff that they had i guess but th this is that was though that's the one negative thing it's a big negative if the pity doesn't go from 200 to 100 i want to clarify that but there's a lot of good to go along with this but let's go with the questions first so the first question the big one step one will be made free to perform combined with there will be no limit to the number of rounds that could be performed right so if we come here to the guiding light let me make sure i got the terminology right because this is i think this is super important actually if we go here, two rounds only, so we're going to have as many rounds as you want. Is the first step going to be free every single time you do it? It doesn't say, and I, I assume that this is the way it's going to work, but we know the only reason I even have a question is because there's been issues in the past with communication in terms of being specific enough to make sure the information gets articulated correctly. Um, this says... Very clearly, step one will be made free to perform. It doesn't say step one will be made free to perform the first time it's performed. This implies that every time you do all five steps, the following step one will be free to perform. If that's the case, that is insane. That's very, very, very good. Um, That means every, what, three, six, nine? Er, that means every 1,200 gems you spend, you will get an additional free multi that's very good. And not only will you get an additional free multi, but you're guaranteed to get a five star in, in those 1200 gems. You have a 50% chance of getting the featured character in those uh, 1200 gems. Um, so this could be huge for people that have been saving to expand their accounts because you're just going to be getting way more multis. Now, if it's only step one, the very first time you do it, this is much less it's not like terrible, but you are spending 150 gems every rotation. Um, I think it would be a huge win to make sure step one is free every time you do it. And that's what it sounds like. So I'm pretty, I, I, I don't want to say blown away, but I do think that that is pretty sick. That that's, that is like, okay, I finally feel like I'm being properly uh, tricked into spending too much money, you know, that this feels like a perfect, it feels like how things should be handled. Honestly, it's like, Hey, step one is free. And that means if you spend 1200 gems, you're going to get another multi for free. Like I'm in baby, let's go five, six, 7,000 gems deep. I'm in. All right. So this sound, this is good. Now the final question is the number of guide stones per step up will be increased. This isn't really a question, but more is are they going to adjust? It, this is what is important. Things that aren't said are as important that are things that are said. So the 100 pity to 200 pity, are they going to change the fragment layout here? Like, so it, are they going to take away these fragments and instead add guide stones? 
maybe that could be very bad but if they keep the fragments and then they keep the pity at 200 it still sucks but you are getting a hundred each time so it is in a way it's 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 exactly the same as having a 100 pity because the difference between pulling on this and pulling on this are the same it's this it would be the same amount right this would be 300 this would be 300 because all the steps besides the first are 300 and every time you do this you're getting 20 um so you're getting twice as many from the right you get 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 so you get 100 in the five steps um and so it, it it's effectively going to be the same because every time you do a multi you're getting 20 um or 30 so i, I it will help a lot does that make sense is that does that make sense that because this three this would be three the first step is free so the 150 was zero and then all the steps are 300 just like the normal banner would be 300 for a multi and you're getting twice as many fragments so it's effectively a 100 pity even if it looks like a 200 fragment pity it's because you're getting twice as many fragments it's actually cheaper um i hope that makes sense um so if, if that's how it works also we're getting more guide stones so this seems like if this is the case this will then become the next two characters will become the easiest characters to fully max out by far tons of pulls i mean it, it'll be great for everyone's account everyone will get lots of five stars if you have a couple thousand gems saved up you're gonna get tons of five stars um i mean at least one every 1200 gems which is a pretty good deal especially when you have a 50 percent chance of getting a badass new unit so um overall this is very positive i have again i have some questions when things that aren't clear i'm going to assume the best not the worst um because it seems like they're trying to do the best here it seems like this definitely made an impact um i mean i even got mentioned on the tavern talk by name that's that's that was weird uh i've i've always been and i still am a tiny content creator with a you know small audience no offense to you guys but you know we're we're in the niche here we're we're in the small uh part of youtube um so to be addressed by name feels weird i, I don't know if a a game I've made content for has ever addressed that I've existed. So the fact that they know that I exist and they actually see some videos is like, it's encouraging to me. Um, now, I do feel like this was some of the suits like testing the waters to see if they could fuck over global. Um, and so I'm hoping that this will be like a shock to the system. Like, all right, all right, screw it. We can't get away with this. Let's just at least give them what JP got, um, not try to do anything else. Because that, I mean, that would be nice to at least just get what JP got. Um, this does feel like this banner is really going to be really good now. I do think the next two are going to be great, um, assuming the best out of all of them. So just, this is one of those things that I think we got to stay vigilant on. You know, keep, I don't think it's unfair to compare what we get to JP. If we just get a worse deal than something that they already did, um, like because they're trying to extract as much money from whales as possible, I think that that's just not cool, you know? So as long as I think, you know, we stand together <laughs> in a sense, we, um, we stay vigilant to make sure they don't screw us over, it's good, but hopefully we won't have to remain vigilant and hopefully they're going, going to just do the normal gotcha thing of at least just exporting this from JP to here. And then God knows, hopefully in the future, we get lucky and maybe we get a global exclusive character, a global exclusive arena. I don't know, some something global ex exclusive, some maybe cool gem packs or, you know, um, you know, who knows? Maybe if they go above and beyond, we can actually get some pretty cool global things uh, for us in our version of the game. But I think that's going to be it for today. I think I've rambled on. Um, overall, I'm very positive and I'm very grateful. This could be absolutely insane for a lot of people's accounts if uh, my interpret if I've interpreted these um, updates correctly. That means they're still a week or two away. In a way, isn't it kind of weird? I don't know if this counts. Do they kind of spoil the characters that are coming? No, maybe not. Maybe they already were announced like in a trailer or something, but I don't remember if they um, by name said which characters were coming before this update. Uh, uh on the, in the notice but that's gonna be it guys thank you so much for platypuses for platypus i will see you in the next video peace out